What is up, God Warriors? Back at you with another YouTube video. Let me see if this actually charged. Two bars, okay. We'll charge it even more. But we are going to Let's try this. Let's see what we're doing. I pray for every last person on here that God anoints this video and gets to you get to see this to come to church to be able to worship God and be able to choose to follow God. Hope you guys choose to follow God because He died for our sins. He chose to die for every last one of us. For our sins and for the world. People that are not even perfect. But He chose to die for us. Jesus, hallelujah, Father. I have the Holy Ghost and I have the, uh, the Holy Ghost and I have the Holy Spirit. For, you, for anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's God's Spirit and blood. Blood of God when you're getting baptized as a representation. Basically, the water is Jesus' blood. And the Holy Ghost is when you are praising God so much that He speaks through you, through your voice, because He cares so much about you, to help others through you, and to devo devoting yourself, and it's, a, it's such a great feeling. I'm not doing this for any glory, I do this because I care about a lot of my family, I care a lot of everybody, I have a big heart, I do have a big heart. My prayers are what I give to people because I know that God will help them. They will, they will, do, He'll do His works on them. You need help with that that family member, okay? Oh, you need help out of something that you you got yourself into, okay? I got you. You've been falling so many times. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not even perfect. What? I am far from perfect. I beat myself up when I fall anyway. Like cuss, yeah, we're human. We could say, "Oh, that's just a part of life." That's it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not really normal. It's uneducated, yes. And all of, what do they do? The words, all they do is make you more mad. All they do is frustrate you. Well, it frustrates me. That's why I stop using them. Any struggle or problem you have dealing with, give it to God. He will handle it himself. Somebody is rude to you, be kind to them. Kill them with kindness. By that I mean show them the love of God. That they ca that He cares for each and every one of them. Even if they're rude to you. God is, and it's God is justice. He will help you with that problem that you're struggling with. He has, he certainly helped me through... I'm going to tell you guys this because I don't think I've ever said this online. The reason I'm in this, this house right now... It's because of God. I was homeless for two days. Mom kicked me out. Wasn't my fair share of fine moments. You know what I said? That's okay. And that's when I, uh, before then I got baptized. But even in, what I said was, that's okay. I'll be gone by tomorrow. And I was. For two days. Um, don't get me wrong, I was very exhausted my first day. Not my finest moment. But... I walked through, I, uh, my first one I was spinning in and out of places. I was so exhausted that, uh, wait, maybe it was one day. Well, probably one or two. The point is that I got kicked out, and what I felt like was the end of my world, and I had nowhere to go. Imagine your parents, the people that provide for you, kick you out, don't want you in, anywhere in near the house, or if you pride for yourself, okay? If the people that don't want you in that place because they got a better offer for money, kicks you out 
You're like, okay, I'll be gone by tomorrow. Trust fully in God. I trust fully in God. Don't, like, don't think it's going to be an easy walk. I was angry. I was frustrated. I was lost. Like, what, God, why would you, why would you allow this? Why would you do this to me? You know why he did that? To better me. To help me. To get away from a toxic situation. To get away from... To get away from... The devil's works working through my family. They're not per per imperfect people. They're, it's every, they're, The devil works with through everybody. Because you know he can toy with them. Because they don't know the difference. What you do is you pray. And I prayed, trust me, I went through, I was upset, I was tears, angry, crying, like, like, I wouldn't say sobbing, but like, tears strolling down my face, like, so upset, but I forgave him, because forgiving people heals bitterness, and I knew God, whether, one way I was going to get, he was going to deliver me to another place, I, somewhere for, I could call home, so, May I remind you, I was homeless for two, for two. I think it was two days or one and a half day. Uh, no, 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 it was a, it was a whole day. Sorry. Um, but I was, I didn't get any sleep most of the day. I, uh, by nighttime, when I got kicked out, I went to the gym, worked out, um, realized I just got really kicked out, was upset, angry, frustrated, lost. Just tried to sleep in the sauna, tried to, didn't work out, tried to tried the, um, what was it, uh, laundry mat and Troy, all right, and, uh, by the way, three people from that day from to the nighttime told me, go to, go to Buckeye House, go back to Buckeye Housing, so, best opportunity I've ever took in my life, because God gave that to me, he gave me an opportunity, an opening, they do not have openings like that. It's usually every second, every person's going in as soon as they can to get a bed filled. So they can spend three months or however long saving up so they can get their own place in their own car. And may I remind you, I was going through church at this time. And while I was not, not church at the time, church before I got homeless. I know I skip around a lot, but the point is, I was homeless. I put my faith in God and... Uh, he came through. I was so exhausted at the point it started pouring down rain. They, the cop said I had the laundromat. When I told you I went to the laundromat, they, the cop thought because I was there, that was my rob place. I gave him my idea. He's like, oh, okay. Do you have any place to stay? He's like, no, no, no. I, I said, no, I, I don't. And uh, I told him, no, 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 I don't, I don't have any place to stay. But I gave him my ID to show him that I wasn't trying to rob the place. Even though there was people there taking quarters, desperate quarters, have their own measures out of quarter, out of a freaking, oh, I'm probably gonna die, but out of, out of a freaking washing machine for people that wash their clothes, quarters. So, but they gave me that place, and then, yeah, I was still a bit lost. But after that, I went back to the gym, then went over to the uh, gas station. I told a lady, I after I. Grabbed the hot dog and was buy, buying it because I grabbed two of them. Cheeseburger hot dogs, freaking amazing food right there. But yeah, she's. I told her I was homeless and I was really struggling with it because every now and then I get they were my parents exactly kicked me out. But like I said, the devil works his works on people. But anyway, she's like, okay, grab a cookie off the shelf, any one you want. It's on the house. And yeah, after that, I felt. And then she gave me a hug because she she felt bad for me. She, uh, but she now was trusting in God. Oh, I, that's, that's that is a uh, electric water. Okay, cool. But after that, I went back to the gym. I ate that food and I tried to save the cookies, and then I got hungry. Just ate it again, and then. Uh, what happened was after that, it was pouring down rain. I couldn't stay there any longer, and I was really exhausted. So, may I remind you, it was almost in the morning. It was like 12 at night, probably one, I think, almost one. And, buddy, uh, literally, 
I think I called. I'm not sure. It was. Been, it's been a little while before that. It's been three, almost three months. Well, actually, it's been three months because it's April. Um, and uh, he told me, uh, "You need a ride anywhere?" Because I was, I was told him I was going to the uh, a motel, and he drove me there. Best brother I could ever ask for. He helped me through my struggle because a brother in Christ, somebody I did didn't know at the time when I. Uh, until I joined that church, God made a way. God, my dad guided me. God guided me there, and I'm and my dad also guided me there. The recommendation, uh, recommendation from that church changed my life because it. I devoted my whole life to God, and at that moment, when my my friend had realized I had a brother, and now I even got another one, the one I'm staying with offered to, a whole house, of his own. It didn't have to, but he did because brothers in Christ help each other out, even when they don't have a, like, and even when they don't have an option to. Like sometimes it's gonna be hard, but even if they can't, trust in God because He will come through. May I remind you after, after I uh, I went to that motel, I got the best four hours of my sleep because it was really expensive. It was eighty bucks for one night. And after that day, third time, I went to. Uh, I was working Subway at this time, and uh, yeah, what happened was I uh, finally went to call about the Buckeye housing because I wasn't sure. Thought it was just a cot and a bed and saving up, and that was it. Nope, it was like rich uh, retirement, Tony Stark's house, and uh, yeah, I got in, I got situated. They paid for all the food, they supported. People, it's a very optional place, and I was there for like a couple weeks, I think, three weeks, four weeks, probably been there three or four weeks. Anyway, my buddy said, once you get that six five hundred dollars, you can come move in with me, or move in with me. And my buddy Chris, my buddy Chris helped me with that. Eventually, they were like, you know what? After like, because I went to church, even though I uh, was in a homeless shelter. Let me tell you, it changed my life for the better. God definitely changed... No, God changed my life for the better. See, I'm struggling with my own faith sometimes. I'm not perfect. But what happened was, they gave me the money to get in, and he dropped it down to 150 rather than 500 so I could get in. So now I'm staying there, here, paying my rent with a brother in Christ that cares so much. And our relationship for, went from just friends to pretty much brothers. Brothers in Christ, I'm talking about somebody that cares so much dear, dearly about about you. Anybody, their faith, and I'm an apostolic. It's strictly by the Bible. It's, it's, now I'm about the the titles, nothing. It's just the strict to the Bible. God's helped me so much in my life because I was angry, and that subway when I was when I was uh, working, and I told you after that day. I went to the homeless shelter and then uh, went to that church and they told me that you just helped me because I was struggling. I didn't get to go to the church that I wanted to. I was having a hectic time for like three or four weeks. Yeah, God made a way. I'm not, my mind's not exactly on the order, uh, an order brain, but it's definitely something. It's it helps. Helps me figure out stuff sometimes. Mainly God helps me figure out stuff. I overthink stuff. I have a problem with that. But he helped me through it. I was angry when I, I went the opposite way at that subway day. Or the day at the subway job. Uh, yeah, I know what to do. I'm about to die. But anyway. Are you serious? <laughs> but anyway. He, uh... I went from being angry because I went 24 minutes away from the opposite place of the, the thing, thinking somebody else was going to get my place before me. Then, to when I got in there, three weeks after working so hard, being hopeless and struggling because the devil was trying to get his hold on me, to uh, God helping me through it. And I had a brother in Christ and his wife help me with my problem of... Wanting to be able to go to church and my problems. God makes a way. 
he helped me through that, and now I've had the best change of my life. Yeah, trust me, it's still not perfect. It will never be perfect. But God changed my life for the better because I made a choice to follow him, to choose to follow him, to, to do that because it was what I wanted to. Because I knew if there was no way, he would make a way. God's a way maker. He's a, he's a healer. He's your heavenly father that cares so much about his children. That wants nothing but, nothing but the best for his children. To be, for them to be happy. Because he is a father at the end of the day. But you have to choose to follow him. You have to choose to live a holy life with him. And it's not going to be perfect. It never will be perfect. Because we live in sin. We have a carnal body. It chooses to sin. We choose to sin as a carnal body. Our spirit wants to live for God. That's why they call it the battle of the flesh and the, and the spirit. But I, or I may I remind you, it will be the best decision you ever make if you choose to be devoted to God. It might not be a peach, it's not be a cakewalk. But let me tell you, it's, it's changed my life for the better. I love God so much. He's an amazing being a, a heavenly father that chose to care about me to die on the cross that's loyalty right there that's OG and came back from the dead and then some to give the people to choose to be safe with the Holy Ghost God's like I said God's God's what you got the baptism of the blood and God's spirit speaking in tongues which is speaking in another language or yeah. And you're not going to speak in tongues every time. It's about devoting your choices to God. Devoting your life to God. You're not going to make them every time. But it's after you fall to that sin. It's your choice to choose whether to stay hung up on it. Or give it to God because he wants to deal with it. He wants to help you. Even though, like, okay, my buddy explained this to me. If you keep punching a wall. And, his, and he's like, if you keep punching a wall, yeah, am I going to be upset? Oh yeah, you're going to have to pay for it. But he's going to help me fix it. Even though I didn't do that, it's an example. He's going to keep doing that. Oh, you, really? Seriously, man? Again? But he's going to keep continuing to help me. In spite of that. Oh, you sinned again? Okay, let me help you. Let me help you with this. But that's where repentance comes in. Ask for forgiveness. Ask God. Tell him you love him. Get to know him more. Watch movies on Christ. Get to know his personality. Listen to Christian music. Go to church in the front of the row. Sing with the whole heart like you're singing Miley Cyrus or Justin Bieber or whatever your favorite song is. Rap. I don't... There's many genres to Christian music. It's not just one genre. My whole workout routine is being humble to God. Literally get, devoting my type of music from negative, bad, disgusting, unrighteous music that is literally poison to your soul. It's just for your spirit and your soul. Like if you work out and you put certain stuff in your body, it's going to either be good for you or bad for you. I have so much and it helps. It helps me remind me to be humble. Stop being so prideful. I'm not, it's more of like flexing. Oh, God, I did this all on my own. No, God helped me. God helped me with it. I didn't do any of this on my own. God helped me through this. Because I had enough faith to put in Him. And I trusted in Him. And I gave everything to Him. Get on that altar. Pray. Talk to Him. I, God, I repent for my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. I know your, your son. I know you robed yourself in flesh to die for my sins. Because you care for me. That you're my heavenly Father. That you care so much about me. That you didn't want me to go to hell. You didn't want me to perish in eternal fire. Let me tell you. It's not... Lucifer used to be the person of Hallelujah means literally the light bringer, the highest praise. What Lucifer, uh, Satan's job was, was literally worshiping God, God, giving music to him. It's a heavenly thing, our music. But it all could be used for bad too. It can be manipulated because God, the devil was an angel at one point. So like scriptures, like music. But like I'm saying though, he just pray, talk to him.
Ask for forgiveness. Ask Him to change your life. Ask Him to forgive you for your sins. Repent and seek Him more. It says, Ye seek first the kingdom of God. All these things shall be added unto you. You may not want it right now. And the reason why is not saying all. Oh, you can't have it. It's not saying you can't have it. He's saying devote yourself to Him. And He will give you the one that deserves you. The one that might be you think is you, that is supposed to be for you. The, the people in your life. The things that you want in your life. Not, might not be for you. Or it might be for it might be for you. But the things that that's in your life is de diluted. Poison. It's not for you. It's against you. Behind closed doors they might be talking behind your back. Did you hear he did this today? God only takes those people away from you because they know that they're talking behind your back. Trying to hurt you. Trying to put you down because they don't care. They don't give a crap about you. They do it because they want to be like everybody else. The world. Like uh, Sam Smith. He never used to make that music. Unholy? Are you seriously kidding me? But guess what? Mark Wilbur. Mark, Mark Wahlberg, the one that plays in Transformers, the one that plays in uh, The Last Night, the one that plays in a lot of other movies that I like, he took a stand in his faith on live television with a cross on his head just to show, hey, I'm sticking up for my faith. People that believe, all right, make a stand. Put your faith in God. Might not be perfect, that's okay. I'm not perfect. Never will be perfect. That's why it's called trial and tribulation, because God's teaching us how to be more holy, who he wants us to be. I am getting destroyed right now. You wanna go, boy? Let's go. That guy's like I said, I this you think this is literally the holiest game? No, it's not. I mean it's 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 a it's a it's a game I like to play. God gave me this because he cares about me. It's a little bit of violence, but like I said, it doesn't make me mad. Like, I play some games that, that are frustrating me, so I took them away from me. And I play this, because this is my favorite game. Destiny is literally my favorite game. Look at this. This is cool as heck. Like, oh my. Lord, look at this. God gave me this. But you have, you have to put your faith in him. Follow him. Ye seek first the kingdom of God. And every all these things shall be added unto you. There's other and that's I uh, that's Mark that's Matthew six. Okay, here's another one. Exodus fourteen fourteen. I need only to be still for the Lord fight my battles. It, it's probably phrased differently, but I phrase that every day to fight my battles with with scripture. Because at the end of the day, those help me. God's word. I am the, the word and the word is me. Holy. The devil only wants you to drag you down because he knows once it's time to go home, he's going to he's gonna drag as many people he wants. And he's going to, he's going to, okay, he claimed to be God because hey, rather than being proud that you have a father, think about this, you have a father. That is literally the OG of the world. That has unlimited power to give you what you want. And you're not wanting to follow him? I think I lost my train of thought. Sorry, guys. Um, whew. I said, I, I have... I don't have that much. I have a lot of knowledge, but not that much. I am, I'm smart to a certain extent. What he did, ah, shoot, I have lost track of where I was talking about. But imagine your God being the, uh, the, your father being the strongest person on the planet, giving you everything you could have imagined, because you chose to respect the rules. Oh, you, you, you didn't. Go out and drink with your buddies today? Okay, here's a hundred bucks. Oh, you didn't you didn't do this? Here's the keys to my car. I, I don't need it, I got a new truck. Oh uh you chose to praise and worship you 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 choose to uh clean the house? 
and give me a card for my birthday? Guess what? We're going on vacation today. And I got you a job with me when we get back. Those things, when you devote yourself to God, He gives you those because you chose to. It's not because... We're not forced to do anything. He doesn't force himself onto you like a guy does. No. Or like, sorry, like a human being does. Like the devil wants to twist our minds into forcing ourselves onto somebody. Like, oh, you should do this. You should do that. No, 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 no. That's not... You don't force somebody to do something. You can't force a... You can't force a, uh, a horse to drink. You can only show him where the well is. Love, loving is not necessarily, oh, I love this person. No, it's loving, oh, well, it's more of knowing and loving and being, I, I don't know, I honestly don't know. Like I said, I don't have all the answers. I'm not God. I'm not perfect. But if I promise you, if you follow him, he will literally show you the way. Just got to be willing to listen. That was a nice helmet. He will literally show you the way. The better way. His way. Because it's not to hurt you. For I know the things I think toward you. For not to not hurt you. And, and not of... Uh, for not of evil, but of good. And not to hurt you, but to help you. It's probably a phrase a little bit different. And to give you an expected end. What's that expected end? What does that sound like he's trying to say? That he cares about you. He wants to give you that happiness. He wants to help you. He cares. And that's Jeremiah 29, 11. In the Bible. Like, I couldn't be more happier to, to literally praise and worship somebody because he chose to die on the cross. He gave everything. Okay, think about it like this. All right, you love your life, right? Or if you don't like your life, you want to die, right? Well, guess what? God willingly chose, even if he had the best life or the worst life, to die for our sins. To die for our sins, everything he had left, in spite of his suffering or in spite of his joy he had. To die for our sins on the cross, because that's all he had left. That's called nobility, honor, honor and sacrifice. Think about it like this. Would you be willing to die for somebody's sins when you're enemies? The people that you don't like. The people you think that, oh, this guy is just weird because he's not like me. He's not like everybody else. Would you die for their sins? Because you're... Because you're perfect? Because you chose to live a life without God? Would you be able to willingly die for their sins on the cross? Na get nailed... To a cross that's wood and lumber, carry it for like 12 miles. I don't really know what the number was, but it was a long time, all the way up to a hill, for them to nail your feet, your flesh, to a cross. To literally get beaten over and over and get your, your side ripped out with glass and rocks. Flint and rocks, that's what they literally whipped him with. Chains. So you couldn't move, you couldn't run, you couldn't do nothing, you were shackled. On a, 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 I think it was a pillar. Couldn't move. That was a penalty back then for our, for the, the crimes. So you think, oh, doing time is present worse? No, that's isolation. I've already done that in uh, group homes. I let it go because guess what? God l delivers the captives from captivity. He saves the he heals the broken. He he gives back the people the blind people their sight. He heals the crippled man so he can walk. What the heck was that? That looked really weird. But if you want to know how to literally do that. Really want to follow God, make a choice to follow Him. Ask for repentance, go to a church, and you'll know, you'll know. Because if it moves in the church, then that's the right one. If it doesn't, go ask for an apostolic church. Ask around. They go strictly by the Bible. 
That is the way. Not, oh, I like this one because it says it here. No, 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 no. Follow every last word. And think about it like this. Okay, if it was your last day on earth and you had to write a will, would you want somebody to tell half of your wills to somebody? Or all of them? All of them, right? Because you can't no longer speak for yourself. The Bible is literally God's living will. Because he died for our sins on that cross. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to say, God bless you guys. It's literally been a blessing to talk to you guys. To literally teach you or give you the word. Teach, tell you about God because he loves every one of his children. And I hope you have a blessed day and choose to follow God. Or ask for an apostolic church and give him everything you've gotten. Give him the faith you have. Give him that that life that you you. You want to live and wait for it because he'll give you an even greater one. He'll give it tenfold, even more than the one you want to live. And it's far much greater than the one we have now. Might not be perfect, but he'll try to help you. He'll help you through it every step of the way. As long as you pray and ask for his guidance. Even behind the scenes, when you don't think he's real, he's helping you there. The good things. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for every one of these people that are watching. Every one of my followers that are watching this right now. That choose to watch my videos. Because trust me, I'm not perfect at making videos. Far from it. Probably not really good at entertaining people. But I'm trying. But I'm giving it to God. Because I know God can do His works. And I hope you guys choose God. Because He is the best decision you'll ever make. It'll, he'll give you a heart full of love rather than hate. Or pain. And God bless you guys. Have faith, God warriors. Keep trusting in God. Or if you guys don't trust, if you guys don't follow God, please trust me. If you want to, it's always there. He was willing to wait for you. And with that being said, peace out, Norwegian gang. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I've certainly had a blessing talking to all y'all. Peace.